Okay. Welcome back. My name is Mark Zimmerman and it is time for an ink transfer drawing. Just smoothing out a layer of ink. That's what I'm going to use to transfer. Get my brayer put away and grab a sheet of paper. Paper goes over the ink. Tape it down so it can't move. And then I'm going to draw and rub on the back. And that's going to transfer ink to the front, giving me an ink transfer drawing. And I should tell you that I am here doing this today uh, for you to watch on video and um, doing that through the Sanford Arts program. There's underneath there there's tape and inside that tape is where the ink is and I need to know where that ink is or I want to know where that is anyway. And um, so I can run this pen along the edge of that tape and then I know that the ink is inside there. I don't want to touch that. If I touch it I transfer ink. Um, alrighty. I'm going to draw a cone flower just because I really like the things. got a photo of one so I'm not just totally making this up although I think it's safe to say that I'm not exactly following along either. Prairie cone flower is one of my favorite all-time flowers. I just love where they grow. I love how they grow. Put some big old petals in here. Alrighty. Looks like I see well I see the stem here first I guess. So you're just gonna have to trust me for now that I am transferring ink <laughs> to the underside here. To the front side, really. Back to scribbling. Why do I like to scribble? Okay, if I touch it with my finger too, I transfer ink. Oh, got a little carried away there.
There's a cool little one over here too. I like this one in the photograph. It's not open yet. Um, so we're just seeing the, the cone of the cone flower. So it's just a cone, no flower. And I guess, I think those are what are called bracts. They're kind of hiding up underneath that flower. But they're still exposed here on the flower with no petals. Hmm. Sneak one in there, sneak one in here. Hmm, where else do I need one? Maybe another one that's just a cone here. And I get a little horizon line here. Prairie is always got a horizon line. I think I maybe want um, suggestion of a hill back in there. Um, Suggest some grass up in here. I'll take that hill. Darken it a little bit. Now, since it's me and not you drawing suns, I'm going to put a square one in. <laughs> and I'm even going to measure and get kind of fussy about where I put it. Uh, and I'm going to scribble around it a little bit. I'm going to use the template. Let me scribble in my sky up here. So now I'm drawing wind. Good enough. 
Probably I should peek. See if I want to add anything. There is no erasing. I know what I want to add. I want to add a just a suggestion that I have a sh shadows down there in the grass. There we go. One of my favorite prairie flowers. So I've got some watercolor paint and I think what I'll do next is splash some color on here. Could show you what I was looking at too. So I chose some things to paint and some things not to paint. Uh, everything you'll notice came out backwards. That's kind of one of the things about a transfer drawing. So my light's coming in here this way. Put in a very distant ridge, make it kind of purpley. And gold. Coneflowers have yellow petals, so There's more color than yellow though. I mean that's just kind of the basic color. There are shadows. So they're a little darker. I'm using a little orange for darker. I'll let it dry a little bit. Probably maybe put even a little purple shadow in there. Uh, forgot some yellow. Well, that's too much. There we go. Rinse my brush a little bit. Uh, I'm going to come back and paint this background here next. So I just put in just water here first. I want the bottom along the horizon to be light. And then Sneak in a little bit of paint. And a little more paint. Get a little darker as it goes up.
maybe even a little different blue at, up toward the top. So I put in a turquoise blue toward the bottom with a lot of water in the paint so the paper shows through. The paint is transparent so the paper shows through if there's a lot of water. There's a nice sky. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can get to the bottom more effectively. Um, well, that's too much paint. Let's just keep repeating that mistake, shall we? <laughs> that a little rinse, go back to green. I can pick paint up here and put it over here. Not a problem. Maybe I want a slightly smaller brush. brown. I don't know what's going on with my brown. It is turning nasty. And that's too much. Every now and then you put some paint in a little cup and it's, I've just got two watercolor in a cup and they just get ugly. Um, they turn kind of gooey. Not so much ugly as slimy. I do want just a hint of color up in here. I 
So let's get those purple shadows in on these petals too. black. Payne's gray actually. Sign them with water, uh, sign them with pencil, not watercolor, sign them with pencil. And we'll just call this Coneflower Plains signature. Zimmerman, my name is Mark Zimmerman again. And 2020. These are available for the taking. So if you like this one, it's yours. Uh, help yourself. And I hope you had fun watching. Bye bye.